my confession. The truth of the matter is that I'm going to get a lot more out of this discussion than you are. You see, we're talking about telling yourself no. Sometimes we just have to do that. Sometimes we just have to be honest with ourselves and realize that no is the best answer. That's called soundness of mind. That's also wise. It's also wisdom. It's also a course of improvement and a step up in reality. We just have to do it. So I'm thinking about myself. My goal is I really want to lose weight. And I like to do it by means that's called dry fasting, which is very controversial. A lot of people just don't feel good about hearing dry and fast, those two words put together. But for me, it has been a remarkable journey. I've lost a considerable amount of weight doing this. And so my focus is to do it again and actually to make this a historical approach to my growth as a person. But in order to accomplish it, I have to be willing to make a mental sacrifice. I have to be willing to tell myself, Marvin, no, you're not going to eat. You're not going to drink. You don't need it because your body has already given you all the nutrition and it's holding on to it. Your body is already producing all the water. Your body is producing the proteins and the nutrition that you need. Wow. So what, what's the problem? The problem's here up in the mindset. In the mindset, I am so focused on wanting to have instant gratification that just the ability, just the probability of being without what I want at the moment becomes incredibly uncomfortable. So this is what I tell myself when I need to go to the next level. The distractions are there. I get it. But it doesn't mean that I have to buy into those distractions. It's difficult. It's not always easy. But in order for me to get what I want, in order for me to reach my objective, I just use dry fasting as an example. But it could be anything in life. Maybe a person is studying in school to become something. Well, in order to become something, you've got to tell yourself no. Now, in the physical, that can be a lot easier than in the mental. Because in the physical, you just don't take yourself towards the distraction. And the mental, you can visualize it. And it's that visualization that makes things very challenging and offbeat, difficult, and sometimes extremely uncomfortable. So in order to get the things that we want in life, we're going to need to become uncomfortable. Now, let me talk directly to you. And I'm going to make that statement again. In order for you to get the things you want in life, you may really have to become uncomfortable. It's like what we've all seen in babies. Babies just don't come out the womb walking. They've got to get their muscles developed. It takes time. And then once they're able to stand, they fall back down. And then once they're able to stand after they've gotten up and they take that first step, again, they fall back down. So prior to that, they've learned how to crawl. And that's what it takes in life. These are life's lessons. These are life's examples as to how we can move forward. But what the baby does in the own mindset is they tell themselves, I'm not staying down here. I'm getting back up. They keep telling themselves what they need to do. And that's what we need to do. We need to take moments. We need to take that meditation, that meditated moment, and we need to just kind of relax, be honest with ourselves, make sure that the reason we're doing something has a huge why. And that we can answer this why, because when you can't answer the why, it's almost like the expression goes, if you don't stand for something, then you'll fall for anything. That's just what happens. That's just how life is. Life is domineering. Life is about overcoming situations and circumstances. I recently learned a really good definition for aging. And aging in itself has nothing to do with time. Aging has to do with change. And the reason we know this to be true, scientists really cannot figure out why people all of a sudden grow old and die. But the point that we're making is, in order for you and I to keep up with life, we have to keep changing. Or you may have heard it put this way, you have to stay in motion. See, life's not just going to sit there and allow nothing to happen. Life constantly is changing. And that's why we're constantly aging. Aging allows us to change. We get better in the process of change. Sometimes we get worse. Sometimes changing hurts. I mean, if a person wants to become a bodybuilder, they have to change their body. And changing your body may means picking up another pound, picking up another kilogram. It may mean that because that change has to take place to get us to where we want. But we've got to be honest really always about what we want. So when I tell myself no, I'm not denying myself anything. It's like fasting. I'm not starving. I'm not hurting myself. I'm allowing my body to relax from eating food, which takes a lot of energy. I mean, it's like... Imagine 
how much energy you would need to create a machine to actually break down food the way our bodies do. I mean, that's what a factory would be. Imagine how expensive and overwhelming that would be. Yet our bodies does this amazing thing every day. So when I'm not eating, I'm allowing my body to do something amazing because the body does two things. We eat and we heal. All that's changed. Either way you look at it, it's changed. The body never stays still. It stays in motion. So my focus is to allow my brain to keep changing and not to be stuck on the wrong reasons. Because, see, in the reality of life, me telling myself no is, in fact, me telling myself I need to change perhaps my thought, perhaps my motives, perhaps my will, so that I can get the things that I want. So this is a message that I actually share with myself on a daily basis so that I can keep improving, moving forward, breaking boundaries, reaching the limits of the sky and beyond, and getting all the things that I want out of life. So I hope this moment of you listening to an older man has proven beneficial to you. And as always, please continue to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Remember this.